Leaving London can be very expensive, and if you're a backpacker or a traveler on a budget, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna be telling you how to experience this magnificent city without breaking the bank. So firstly, accommodation. Where are you going to be staying? I definitely recommend staying somewhere central because the great thing about London is that all of the main hotspots are within walking distance, so you're gonna save a hell of a lot of money on transport costs. There are a bunch of hostels in central London which you can stay in cheap dorm accommodation throughout the year, but if you are here in summertime, then I have an idea that you may just not want to miss out on. Imperial College is a university based in London that opens up its accommodation to the public throughout the summer from July to September. This is Bite Hall in South Kensington, a one minute walk from Hyde Park, the Royal Albert Hall, and a three minute walk from many of London's most famous museums. So it's the perfect base for exploring and you can arrive direct from Heathrow to South Kensington on the Piccadilly line with no fuss. You can opt for a single or twin room with or without an ensuite, and all rooms come with complimentary tea and coffee making facilities, toiletries, and free Wi-Fi. The reception is open 24 hours, which is so useful if you've arrived late at night. There's an on-site bar which you have access to with a tasty food menu, and you also have access to the common room which has games, table tennis, a pool table. So even if you're traveling solo and want your own bedroom, you can still be social and hang out with other people. There are five locations to choose from across London and prices start from £39 per night in Notting Hill, which is just absolutely unheard of for a private room in the middle of London, which is spacious and clean. There's a lot of things that you can do in London for free. One of my favourite things to do is just to come for a walk or hang out in one of London's many free parks. This is Primrose Hill where you can get the best views of the city. There's also Regent's Park, there's Hyde Park which is the one closest to Imperial, St James's Park which is right by Buckingham Palace and then there's Richmond Park where you can see all the deer and that's just to name a few. Another really good free thing that you can do is visit one of London's magnificent museums. The majority of them will not cost you a penny, including the British Museum, the Natural History Museum, and the Science Museum. The next few tips I have for you are coming from the comfort of my home office, and that's because you can literally organize and plan for these things whilst you're still at home. So the first thing is actually a Twitter group. It's called Skin London, I'll link it below. And they basically post a bunch of articles of things to do in London, but also will post some really good info on free things, cheap things that there are in and around London. Generally, it's on the day type stuff, so it's really good to, to check up and see if there's any places that you should be going today or the next day or whatever and the next thing I will of course mention is Groupon if you don't know about Groupon they have it in so many places around the world it's where you can get discounted activities things to do spa treatments at heavily discounted prices so if you just go on Groupon and then the search bar London you can filter it with things to do beauties and spas food and drink and they have tons of stuff this is really good for the main attractions in London often you'll find a really good deal on Groupon and then there's this first table, I think this is a fairly new thing actually to come to London. I definitely personally knew it because it was in New Zealand, but it's basically a website where you can get half price on a meal, like going out for a meal, if you book the very first table of the night and you go on the website, you see a list of all the restaurants there and what time the very first table is and then you can see if it's available and you can book it right there and then. It doesn't cost any money to sign up, so that's a really, really good tip for some cheap food in London. And then as for theatre tickets, there's a couple of things that you can do. The first is definitely check on Today Ticks. It's a website, I'll link it below. You can book pretty much any theatre show on there but they also show lots of deals or last minute tickets which you might be able to get for much cheaper than a regular price and there's also if you actually go into Leicester Square there's a couple of booths there which are specifically for just getting last minute tickets cheap tickets you can't miss them if you're in London and you want to go see a show that night go visit one of the booths and hopefully you can get yourself a good deal and the last one is an app that Emily from London City Calling has recommended it's called the Dusk app it's a free one that you can just download on your phone and it basically gives you a list of all the places that you can go in London that evening where you can get a free drink. So I'll say, go here tonight and get a free drink. And there are quite literally some people who will bar hop using this app getting free drink to free drink to free drink. I'm not so sure that I recommend that because that's a little bit sketchy, but if you want the odd free drink or cheap drink or you want a discount, definitely check out the Dusk app. Again, I'll link it below so you can get yourself some cheap drink deals. 
So there you go, that is how you can experience London on a budget. It's not as bad as you think if you plan your trip. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.